Hello everyone, appleandapps.com back with you here again with a new in action video diving more into iOS 7 and there's been a few requests to dive into the specific new settings that are included and there's quite a bit. One is cellular and so now you actually see what cellular data which apps are using it. Right here you see the app store and all of these apps that have used cellular data during the current billing period and then there's also system services as you can see right here, push notifications, 338 kilobytes, Siri only 77.6 kilobytes. So you can see those Apple services and how much they're taking in addition to the regular apps. And then this is where you choose what actually uses cellular. Right now we have them all flipped on. And it's worth noting these new green switches. A big change from iOS 6, but definitely clear to see what's on and what's off. And then another big new feature is call blocking. So if you dive into the phone, you can go to blocked right here and then add new and you can pick from your contacts or set up a particular number. And it's interesting with the new icons Apple's used, if you want to get in touch with somebody, just pick green, whether it's messages, FaceTime, phone. And they work the same way. You just scroll down to where it's blocked and then you add in who you want to block so you don't have to be bothered with that. Going back up to the top, Notification Center has some new options. So there's choices to turn on the different views, you know, when you, all these details, you can turn it on and off. So that's definitely new. Though the share widgets aren't included in iOS 7 so far, but maybe they'll be added later. Next up, Control Center doesn't actually have any settings. It would be nice if Apple let you choose which options are going to be down here. Like instead of having the rotation lock, you could put... Um, personal hotspot or something like that. Um, let's see, what else? Brightness and wallpaper. These dynamic wallpapers, there's only two right now, but Apple will probably make more of them. See how they populate, and you might even be able to add your own in the future, so we'll see if Apple flushes that out more. You can also pick panoramas from here, and that's going to change your home screen when you're tilting it to really dive into that aspect of it. And then there's a whole bunch of new general settings. Background app refresh is a really interesting one because as apps are updated for iOS 7, you know, in the fall, you get to choose if they're going to be able to refresh automatically in the background, kind of like weather and stocks do from Apple. But say you want Facebook and Twitter to update automatically in the background, you can turn it on and off right here. Let's see. All kinds of new little things. Keyboard looks the same. Text size is an interesting one. Now there's dynamic type. So you can scroll how you want your text size to be. And again, as apps are updated for iOS 7, this can be universal. So all of the text that pops up in like Pulse Newsreader or Mailbox is going to adopt the same type of things. And then privacy has one new addition and that's microphone. It's going to pick which apps actually access the microphone and you can turn that on and off the same way you do right now with contacts or photos or location. And then maps has some new choices as well. So you can choose the navigation voice volume now which wasn't there before and you also have access to walking directions and you can make it preferred or not. So that's new with Maps. Safari has a few new choices as well with this Do Not Track option which is you know kinda like the incognito mode in Google Chrome. And then you also can adjust the new Smart Search field. But that Do Not Track is probably the biggest thing. Though Block Pop-Ups is a new addition as well. So we'll see how much that actually impacts pop-ups. And then in the iTunes and the App Store, from here, see automatic downloads, the third one is updates. You can choose whether apps are automatically updated or not, because that's a new feature, but it's up to you whether you want it or not. Let's see. Game Center didn't even have a settings panel before, so this is a new addition. It lets you choose if you want invites. You can even find nearby players and connect to different social services. 
And then at the bottom, Flickr and Vimeo have been added for other social sharing options with the same setup that Twitter and Facebook have. So there's that. And I believe that's most of all the new different features and settings. One thing I did want to just emphasize in the video, when I press the home button, watch how the settings panel that's open is going to flow back right into its icon. See, so say you have messages open, when you close it, it flows back to the top of the screen. There's always that consistent flow and when you open an app and when you close an app. Really, really interesting. And then when you're charging now, there's a little charging indicator by the battery in the top right, and you see the whole new status bar is thinner and that kind of good stuff. Let's show the lock screen once again. Nice and clean. And then the apps again fly in. And that's iOS 7 settings. The cellular data usage is a really big one. And then also slide to power off is different. So this is appleandapps.com with a new in-action video of iOS 7. Talk to you next time.